Here's my trailer, second video. I ran out of green paint, so I'm going to be going to Tractor Supply in a minute to get another can so I can finish this up. Um, this is the first coat in the inside of green. I ran out of green paint on the, on the uh, tailgate here. Um, quite a bit of work since the last video and this only took me about an hour to get from what it looked like before to this. It's uh, pretty amazing. Um, that light on there, that wasn't in my last video. My other light quit working on me, so I bought this at Tractor uh, not Tractor Supply, um, Harbor Freight for $20. It's this Type R right there. Um, this is much, much better than my last one because this one has gears. The motor has a gear on it, and that drives the little thing that spins. Um, the other one didn't have that. The motor just had the shaft coming out, and then around that where that black plastic uh, or vinyl gear is, that big one there, that was just like a piece of rubber all the way around it. And if you let it sit for like maybe, I don't know, a week, it would have like little divots in it from where that shaft on the motor was sitting. And it would, wouldn't would work right. And then it quit working altogether. The light wouldn't go on or, and the motor wasn't even turning on that other one I had. So I bought this. I like this much better because it's nice and sleek looking. So... Also, I got at Harbor Freight a battery hookup thing. It has two alligator clips on it, and then it makes like an instant like cigarette lighter thing. So I don't have to cut the wire on this to put alligator clips on like I had on my other one. Um, I don't think I showed that, but it ha it goes around like 125 times a minute. I'll show you. Put this down. It's kind of loud, but you won't hear it over the motor. I've still got to fix the two lights in the back. Now the other one isn't working. Maybe a wire came loose or something. I've been having quite a bit of trouble with those lights. I might be taking them off and putting just headlights on there and just uh, red marker lights, I guess. But uh, yeah, at, Har at uh, Tractor Supply they had them for thirty dollars. The LED ones. Uh, they weren't marked, so I asked the lady at the at the cash register, I was like, how much are these? She goes, $29.99. I was like, I'll pass on that. I think I can get them cheaper at Harbor Freight. Sure enough, I did. So, um, yeah. Uh, quite a bit of work and a little bit of time. I'm actually very impressed. This should be done later on today or maybe even tomorrow. Uh, I'll post another video tomorrow of it. But this is already dry. The whole thing is already dry, and I just painted this 10 minutes ago. And the paint's not frozen. It's like 21 degrees out here. And I'm out here painting. And I know I'm going to get shit from that from you guys later on. Um, but uh, the paint isn't frozen. It's completely dry but all I gotta do now is just get another can of green paint paint the put another coat on the front or in the bed of it paint under here I prime that to those two uh, things right there underneath and then on the other side the same thing 
and then this puppy is done. Ready to work. But it looks sweet. I mean, it, it matches almost perfectly. You know what, I think I'm gonna get two cans. So I think I'm gonna put a third coat on the outside too. Cause it's, you can see it. You can definitely see it on the camera. And I can see it on, in person too. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get two cans. I've gotta bring some primer back, automotive filler primer. But, uh, yeah. Alright. That's it for now. Later.